Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be building a cruiser tank. Now, these tanks got a bit of a bad rep in the history geek kind of community, I guess. Uh, these tanks are quite infamous for their uh, reliability issues, puny little guns, lack of armor, generally being outclassed by the tanks that they ended up fighting, but to be honest, um, that's not really true, for the most part. So some of them were pretty awful, uh, especially the ones that never saw service, but the famous ones, the Crusader Mark II, that kind of a tank, they kind of get a bad rep for a bad reason. They, they didn't perform admirably, they weren't hugely reliable, but the opposing forces also suffered from in unreliability with their tanks, and to be honest, it was more the misuse of the cruiser tanks that led to their awful reputation amongst the crews, the army, and the world round, to be entirely honest. It ended up being the case that the generals who were in control of these tanks just didn't really know how to use a tank effectively, and these tanks might have broken down a little bit more than some of the better German designs, but especially compared to some of the Stugs and other tanks in North Africa at the time, they were extremely harsh conditions for anything mechanical. Lots of sand, lots of heat, and definitely lots of temperature fluctuations, as in the night it would cool down drastically. So, uh, yeah, I mean, a bit of a bad rep that these tanks get for kind of no reason. They're not as bad as people say they are, but, you know, I'm not going to go out there and say that they're the best tanks that were ever made. They did have their fair share of problems, and today uh, we are hopefully not going to experience any of those, because luckily Sprocket doesn't uh, take into account reliability, so we can just kind of ignore that. I think that should be good. Now, um, I was originally going to go for a little bit more of a different turret on this thing, uh, but I did end up going with just the uh, typical kind of cruiser, I don't know, how do you call it, hexagonal uh, kind of front aspect to the turret, straight up on the sides, and then kind of this armoured shield, which is kind of spaced armour, which forms a V on the side of the turret. I don't know, you know what it looks like. It looks like that. Uh, it's seen on the A-13, it's seen on the Crusader Mark II, it's seen on some of the other cruiser tanks that never really saw combat, so I can't really remember the names of them. It was a fairly common thing on cruiser tanks, so uh, I, I think it's a fair bet that we put it on here, and uh, to be honest, this thing did end up looking quite a lot like the ill-fated Covenanter, which I'm not going to claim that that was a good tank. Trust me, I know that was a bad tank. It was awful. Um, <laughs> but it does look good. And ultimately, isn't that the most important thing when you're building a tank? No. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, if... Uh, yeah, I, I, that, that's pretty. I think I've talked about the tank enough, to be entirely honest. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the channel because yes, it has been another three weeks since I did Sprocket, but uh, yeah, we're just waiting now until around October time for the Geometric Internals video. So I will keep trickling Sprocket out to you, but it might just be at this kind of reduced rate for a little bit longer. But uh, in the meantime, why don't you check out Flyout or especially the Trailmakers content if you're looking for something to bide the time? They're both really fun little series I'm doing, and I think. If you enjoy this, you should enjoy both of them. But uh, anyway, uh, I won't bore you any longer. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, and so here we have our cruiser tank that hopefully is going to carry us quite far. And if I do say so myself, I think she's looking pretty good, to be honest. I mean, it's got some of those Covenanter looks about her, which is probably not a good sign for the June scenario at the very least. And uh, apparently my ammo racks are clipping. Damn! Okay, one malfitting compartment and one game crash later, we have, uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah, we got a tank, um, but the driver's not in the hull, so, um, <laughs> ah, there we go, kind of just rammed him in there, that'll do. Uh, so this should be a fairly nippy little tank, so there are improvements that I can make, as you can see, the turn time seems to lack a little bit to be desired, um, and 
definitely the turret rotation has room for improvement. So I am just going to do a little bit of tweaking on that and maybe also raise this ride height a little bit as I do, f I do feel a bit low. Okay, so a little bit of tweaking later, thanks to the sprockettools.github.io site, which I will link in the description below. So uh, it's a little tool. You can calculate your gears, you can throw in your sprocket diameter, RPM limit, horsepower, upshift, vehicle weight, desired climbing angle, and total gear count, just a couple of things. Uh, and it will calculate exactly which gear ratios you need. And as you can see, we now have some fairly desirable uh, driving characteristics here. So I reckon it's about time we take on Ambush and see how we do. Okay, I'm hoping for no disasters here. We have everything that I think we should need to do fairly well here. Now, all we need to do is to play well. Uh, now, hopefully, these Henemores shouldn't be too difficult to go through. They only have about 40 millimeters of frontal armor in places, so uh, we can definitely go through. The question is, can we actually do enough damage to them to kill them quickly? And so far, it's not looking good on that front. Uh, there is a lot of holes in that Henemore. There we go. He's finally gone down, and we're already out. <laughs> The solution to this problem, you ask? Uh, load the APHE and give it a slightly longer shell. So, we have absolutely no armor, man. It's gonna take very few shots, even from these panzer wagons, to uh, actually kill any of our tanks. So we've got to be very, very careful here that we wipe them out as quickly as physically possible. And there's one over there. Our vertical laying on this gun is not the fastest, but there we go. With the APHE loaded, we can definitely go through. And that leaves all of my allies and only the big boss tank over this hill. So we're going to load the AP because I don't think the uh, APHE is going to quite cut it here. And uh, hopefully we shouldn't struggle to flank too much because we, we're pretty mobile for an interwar tank, to be honest. I don't even think they see us. We're, we're so sneaky. <laughs> we're barely 10 foot away from them. And I don't think they even know that we're coming. So now, I mean, now they should, right? Surely. There we go. Right in the back. And not a single casualty. Yep, okay. Okay, no changes here. We're just still an interwar fighting on the Dunes map instead of Ambush. Let's see how we do. Right, frankly, I'm hoping for Bennett's or Panzer Wagons uh, because those Hanamors are a little bit too heavy for this gun really to cope with. Oh, and it is the Panzer Wagons. That's great news for us. Uh, we might even be able to snipe a little bit here. There goes one. I'm a little bit concerned about getting shot on the right, but if I can just take this guy out, which is not going well, there we go. We can get off this hill, which was kind of skylining us, but that's already like half their team gone. Okay, so there's no shortage of mana wars over this hill. Uh, I reckon we'll have enough time to just crest this hill and hide away from that guy, though, uh, because he's going to take a little while to turn. Yes. You know, the risk I took, it was calculated. <laughs> oh my goodness me, look at that panzer wagon go. Hi bud, uh, please stop whatever you're doing right there. Yep, yeah, there we go, there goes his engine. I probably should load the APHE, but oh well, there we go. Done the job. You, dear sir, are terrifying. What kind of armor do you have? Ooh, 60 millimeters and we only go through 58. Oh, that is no good. Uh, we're gonna need the side or the back of this guy, and I'm hoping my allies can help with this. I'm charging! I'm charging! Here we go! I don't think he's very good at turning that turret around, and the hull is not that much quicker. So if I can just get close enough and stay fast enough, which is... I mean, it doesn't feel very uh, exciting, this battle, because <laughs> everything's moving very slowly. But I promise you, for interwar, this is absolutely exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. Right, let's load the APHE, because I think that'll go through this turret. On the side. Low, low. <laughs> Raise the gun, man. Come on. Oh, man. It takes so long. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Okay, load the AP again. Clearly, the uh, APHE isn't quite enough. And then, right in the side of the turret, it went through. And it's just going to be a couple of those. There we go. <laughs> Okay, there's our buddy, and I'm going to pull the same kind of trick I did on the last one and kind of use these dunes to my advantage as well as my speed. <gasps> no, the map border! Oh, uh, don't shoot me, please. That would honestly just be rather rude. Um, hi. 
I mean you no harm, except I totally do. Uh, oh no, this is... I mean, he's not shooting me, but also I'm now stuck on the map boundary. <laughs> oh man, no, this is not good. Uh, you gonna, you gonna shoot back? No. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, actually, that's a bad thing now I think about it. Let's, let's, oh god, let's move. Oh, that fire rate is impressive. What kind of a gun is that? That can't be more than a 20 mil, right? <laughs> maybe it's a 40 mil, I don't know, maybe. Could be firing with the same gun here. It would make sense, we're both British. Okay, come on. Right, no, raise the gun. <laughs> It, it, it burnt out. It burnt out. It's a it's a victory. Okay, so we got a couple of upgrades for Silent Border, and the the main thing is like a uh, 50 millimeter gun rather than a 40 millimeter gun, a bigger, more powerful engine, the exact same armor layout, and a slightly better gear ratio. Uh, obviously, taking into account the engine we're running, and we've got ghost tracks. That's fine. Ghost tracks can only help, I believe. Uh, now, the thing is, I am famously pretty bad at finding the anti-tank guns on this map, uh, and we are very quick, so it might honestly be worth just kind of gunning for it and hoping that the anti-tank guns miss. I know he's there, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to keep going. Nothing can stop me because I have the spirit of a lion, and that is all that I need. Uh, Alan definitely could stop me, though. I'm just relying on him not doing that, which is going well so far. Hi, bud. Uh, yep. I would like to shoot the back of your turret rather than the front, because I've heard that's a little bit weaker. Hello, and there we go. And no more different upgrades this time, just the same old, same old, but uh, now we can see. So there's nine of us, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. It's a fair whack of tanks. Um, however, this could be quite difficult, especially depending on the enemies that we get here. And those Heliots are about the hardest ones that we can face. So, yeah, I'm not too hopeful, to be entirely honest. Hello, you are a man of war, right? Um... Yes, indeed. Side of the turret. Always a reliable shot on the Man of War. You know exactly when you see one where to shoot for. Um, however, the Heliots, they're a little bit more tricky because even the side of those things is pretty much impenetrable. You need the back. Oh, no, that's both of my transmissions taken out by a really, really long-range shot. So we've tried the path less trodden. How about the path most trodden? I mean, what could possibly happen other than the loss driving down this road, right? But uh, it's worth a try. Oh, those Heliots are so insanely powerful. They just have so much armor. But we don't have much of a choice here. We're going to keep charging. Uh, this is just unanimously a bad idea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, slightly longer 50 mil with a little bit more punch, and hopefully we get anything other than the Heliots. Ge I genuinely do not think we will ever beat <laughs> Heliots in this tank. The only hope we have against that thing is to uh, abuse its slightly weak gun, uh, and we don't have any armor to do that with. So, uh, yeah, not favorable, that thing. Not favorable. Luckily, we are seriously rapid in this thing, and I have also improved the gun laying, so we now might get a chance to go through the side of that guy up there. No luck. But we have gone through the front of those things before. We just need to get particularly lucky, um, but I don't think that's happening right now. It's like the mantlet or something. Okay, that's not happening. That's not happening at all. Uh, let's do something a little bit stupid here, and we're going to actually close the distance, because I don't know how much in the way of turret rotation these things actually have, and all I need to do is get the side of it. Oh man, it's pretty quick, but it's not quite quick enough, I don't think. We are going to struggle against the other tanks on their team, but if I can just take out this Man of War, there we go, that's a good sign. Uh, let's start focusing on some of these other enemies. Lower the gun, please. There we go. Oh, man, this is terrifying. There's just so many of them. <laughs> I see a turret. There we go. Only two left. 
Now, I think this one here is immobilized. Oh, but it's aiming right this way. That's that's not good. Uh, goodbye. Oh, man. Hi, buddy. I'm just going this way, if you don't mind. Now you're not aiming quite this way. And one in the side of the cheek. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, goodness me. That is way closer than I expected. That was really, really quite close. That's a, that's a new pair of trousers kind of moment. Hello, fellow. I'm afraid he is not going to be adequate armor for you today. Uh, you're going to need a little bit more than that, buddy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, mid-war, and we're going to have to fight the tiger on crossroads. Not a fun prospect. We have a 75mm gun now with only 130mm of penetration. However, we have a theoretical top speed over 60 miles an hour, so if we can get anywhere near that 60 miles an hour, anything above 40 frankly, I reckon we can charge right over this road and kill whatever is at the end of this road, whether it's a Tiger II, it is a Tiger II, or the IS-122, um, because he just cannot physically turn that turret in time to catch somebody doing the old 1-2 here, and now that we're back here, all we need to do is get into position on the side of him, aim at the side of the turret, and do nothing. Uh, hello, that's rude. I need to uh, actually kill you. Uh, okay, right. No, 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 no. Not giving you a chance to do that. Yeah, you just put that gun right back. I'm sure the same thing won't happen again. It did! What a twist! Oh, fields time. This can't go well. We don't have enough ammo. I need more. So as I say, in my mind, there is absolutely no way that this could go smoothly. <laughs> 12 tanks and I reckon we will have no more than six of them left after the light tanks at the start here. Okay, we're charging over the hill here. We're going to take out light tanks as and when we see them, if we can keep our turret up with them. Look at him go! Oh my, he does not care about me at all. He is just gone. He is absolutely gone. I... <laughs> oh man, what? No, you're not meant to do that. No, no, no. Stop. Stop there. Yeah, and let me shoot at you. Uh oh, oh, he's already dead. Uh, what about... Uh, uh, oh, he's already dead. Uh oh, he's already dead. Man, the AI is actually doing a good job for once. Oh, my goodness me! Okay, uh, I'm going to leave them to it because they seem to be doing a fairly good job. And I'm going to start charging towards that ravine, which is going to be our only safety from those six heavy tanks that have just spawned in. Oh, man, this is going to be a little bit nervy, I reckon. But, I mean, we're already there pretty much. So, uh, yeah, no problem, actually. Nowhere near as nervy as I was expecting it to be. Oh, it's panthers. Oh, it's panthers. I would have much rather tigers, to be honest. But, uh, okay. Mm, yeah. Well, the side is pretty good for us. Uh, if we can hit. Uh, just keep a an angling like that for me. There we go. That's what we want. And again, I would not mind that. Okay, he's immobilized. He's not going to be uh, giving me a better angle than that. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, there is one really, really close to me. Uh, but, I mean, he's kind of a better target back there. That is a horrible, horrible miss. That's also a horrible miss. Oh, come on, we're just going slightly too low. There we go. That's a bit more in the way of aiming skill. Uh, I'm a little bit worried we're going to get seen from in front here, but also, I can't resist taking that shot. That panther's gone past us without noticing. We are actually doing very well here, and I reckon this guy is not going to be much of a challenge, because he just didn't see me again. We have really got a tank that the AI does not see very easily, and now it's just the last panther here climbing up the hill, and, um, wow. Uh, no casualties whatsoever. Okay, still with the 75 this time with a little bit more penetration as per usual and still with the extremely high speed and low armor arrangement that we've got going here. Uh, we will see if we can have any chance at Tundra, which tends to be the mission where my tanks fall down. But I mean, look how fast and low profile we are. This could be, this could be the way to go on Tundra. Maybe I've discovered the meta. Now those are the AMXs, they're not too bad 
If I can just... Oh, man. King Tiger. King Tiger. King Tiger. This is not a drill. Okay, he didn't notice me. Uh, two seconds until we reload here. Let's... Okay. Run. Let's run. I do not want that AMX getting his gun trained on me. Uh, because there is one thing that I don't like about that AMX. And it's its gun. Uh, it's very, very competent. <laughs> No! <gasps> there was something else! Uh, we're gonna charge down. Hopefully they're distracted by my AI here. Don't shoot me as well. Uh, yeah, no, we're good so far. I think it's just the two on the left now, because it looks like they managed to kill that AMX who got me. Oh, there were some kind of shots coming through there. I see a King Tiger. I'm not stopping to shoot it yet. Uh, we can get behind them here, and uh, hopefully be able to take them out one by one without the other one noticing. So if I just uh, peek over here. No, we hit a tree. That's no good at all. Come on, send that gun back. Send that gun right back. Okay, no chance of hitting a tree this time. I'm happy to show myself a bit more. That is bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're so quick. We, we can just avoid them before they're even close to aiming at me. This is going way, way, way smoother than I expected. <laughs> you might not believe me, but I, I, I seriously promise I'm not cutting any of these battles out. We are just doing this well. <laughs> oh man, okay, seven tanks to take down, 17 allies who aren't gonna move. Definitely not this tank's strong point, but we can move, so we can kind of get into a bit of an unusual position, because we're so quick. I reckon we can actually get further up than usual, which means we'll get an earlier side shot on most of these tanks than we normally would. We put ourselves into a bit of a predicament in terms of being shot from multiple sides, but that's not a problem if there's nobody left to shoot at us, and hopefully we can start working towards that in, uh, well, now. Yep, there we go. Uh, you, my friend, Centurion, I do not want you shooting at me whatsoever. We can start pushing forwards as well. I think that's three tanks at least already I can see. And that's immobilized there. I kind of want to take out that Centurion in the distance, though. Oh, I missed. Hopefully the allies can uh, deal with that a little bit. This guy is absolutely firing up a storm. There's a lot of shots coming out of that tank. But there we go. No more will he be firing. Hopefully the last guy was that Centurion now. And yes, I can see him in the distance. All we have to do is hope <laughs> that an AI kills him. And there we go. We've done it. We barely upgraded this tank at all. We gave it engine upgrades and we gave it gun upgrades. But visually, it is the exact same as when we started. So why, oh why, did they even take the Covenanter out of service, man? I mean, come on. It's clearly the way forward, but... <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that uh, awful historical inaccuracy, if you guys have enjoyed this one, then please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe on this video. I really do hope to see you in the future. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Badger, Burn and Potato, Cam Jam 135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Scavoon, Gunmaster 929, Sad Cat, Just the Casual 26, Jam 1, Last Urgent 11, Mark, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rule Souls Brocken, The Keynesian Emperor, Zerashim, and Zeit Wolverine. That took way too many attempts and that still wasn't perfect.